So Monk Punks is between essentially three mates, so it's myself, Nick Burke, Jen Gardner. We were kicking back around 2005 on a sunny Sunday afternoon having a few beers. We came up with this uh, outlandish idea that we'd just start a little wine brand. Jen and I had another wine winery that we were running at the time. Nick was working for another winemaker. We thought we'd just have a bit of fun and try and roll out with something different. We had some excess fruit. Um, and it kind of just kind of snowballed from there. And the impetus was, you know, we wanted to have wines that we thought were really incredibly drinkable. But at that time, the packaging world really was just shifting then. And we wanted to garnish the wines with something which would engage with people. The whole idea was if someone picked it up, hopefully that they wouldn't put it back down. So we wanted to capture someone's eye at all. We, we finished all the wines together. Um, some of the wines these days are made under Nick's control. Some are made under Jen and my control. Nick's uh, idea of wine is a bit more um, pragmatic, like he sees opportunity in vineyards and it's the idea of clean and pure from that so quite adjunct ferments quite you know fruit driven styles mine and jan kind of align a little bit more i'm a bit more um hands off in my production role for punks wines so instead of looking at kind of this upright prettiness i'm looking for kind of complexities we can manipulate from longer fermentation macerations or a bit more oldie worldy in, in its style Wine making is really, it's an, it's an age old industry, right? And we, this is one of the things with punks was like, you know, we weren't there to reinvent the wheel because most things have been done before. Like, you know, you can think of the most outlandish possible idea. So we had this concept in the late 2000s to do blood bags as a party release for wine. And strangely enough, someone had done it in the 70s in McLaren Vale. As it was, it was a doctor that owned a, a small winery and he'd release this thing. So, so this idea that nothing is new. So we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. All we're trying to do is, um, continually trying to educate ourselves and learn and, and hone our skills that hopefully we can make better wine. So there's the two tiers, there's the TNC range and the pulp range. The pulp range is where we started. So we started with Passion Has Red Lips. Mm -hmm. um, and it stems from the fact that Nick used to, he's an ephemeral collector, which is a euphemism. Um, and he used to have these pulp fiction novels. So we get home from uni, we started winemaking together at uni. When we came to the idea of, you know, starting some young punks, it was how we're we gonna do on the labels and it was like, oh, let's use pop novels because it's, you know, something that's, the images that are so familiar to us all. And that's how it kind of started with that. And then the term Some Young Punks, it was a derivation of a pop novel. We were young, we were quite different at the time in terms of our outlook with winemaking. Um, whereas now we're not young. And it kind of rolled from there. And then TNT range, so the Squid's Fist, Monsters and Double Love Trouble, all illustrated by an Israeli artist and his name's Asaf Hanuka. And we would write a paragraph brief and set it to him and, and what he would illustrate would be his interpretation of our probably drunken ramblings. 